Oh, fuck's me. Hello, what's going on? I can hear a party going on there. What are you celebrating exactly? Uh, yes, no, there's no celebration here, Mr. Bowman. No, it's just uh, business as usual. A friend of mine's just been past Lamb bought a guinea and seen a big banner outside saying 1,000 followers. What's that all about then, exactly? Oh, shh, shh. Are you doing that again? Oh, it's me. Okay, Mr. Bowman, I'll come clean with you. It's, it's my uh, Chanel. I mean, your channel. YouTube. I mean, YouTube. It's, uh, it's doing very well. Uh, I've got thousands of subscribers. Scri 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 and what channel's that exactly? It should be called Lamborghini, but uh, unfortunately I named it Ralph's Natural Selections first. Oh, you did, did you? That's my channel you're talking about. What makes you think it's your channel? <laughs> you don't think that people are interested in stones and dead animals from years ago, do you, Mr. Bone Man? <laughs> that, that would just be absolutely ridiculous, Mr. Man Bone. It's Bone Man. Bone Ham. Both of them. What exactly do you think it is that's made it your <laughs> channel? Well, c clearly it's to do with my animal pun transport options of the genius inventive variety. Name one. Okay. Mr. Boner, Bird SR. 71. Well, that's been done. Most planes are named after birds, aren't they? Hey, okay, Mr. Roadman. Okay, Mr. Roadman. How about, uh, sh not shrimp, uh, muscle cat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a bit better, but not really doing it for me, mate. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's to do with my fossils. Mr. Bowman, if that's how you feel about this. <laughs> Doctrine Platted Bus. <laughs> yeah, good point, mate. Yeah, yeah. well done. Congratulations on your channel. Doggerland revealed. Not for a while, but look, remember what I said about these uh, things could look as nice as a hand axe? Look at this. See that? Of course you can see it, because I'm putting it right in the middle of the camera, ain't I? Here we go. Oh, come on. This is what I'm saying. Oh, this is f***ing lush. This is a f***ing beauty. This is absolute, definite, old chopper with the looks of a hand axe. Absolute f***ing stunner. Old as well. We always say that, but it is. Well, let's have a look. Look at that. Exactly what I said. Remember what I said about these choppers? Look at the shape. Beautiful look. Oh, that is a stunner. Ripper, that is. Look at that. Oh, it's textbook. Oh, it's fucking perfect. Look at that. That is the best so far tonight. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's unbelievable. Who'd have thought that been, I've got a huge split in the crotch of my trousers? Right, and, and believe it or not, it's the absolute optimum for for, for um, overall body cooling. I mean, elephants use big ears, and I've got a big crotch hole, so I'm thinking about designing a, a, a line of... Uh, a line of uh, fossil hunting clothing of the outdoor variety, lightweight, waterproof, giant crotch hole. Yeah, they may laugh, but at the end of the day, you know, they'll have less sweaty b****. Or I will. Or I'll just make money from trousers with less material. It's one or the other, isn't it? Either way, it's win-win. Very old something. Like choppery knife something. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Could have been anything outside, but then look. Absolutely beautiful.
come on. I mean, you'd get excited if you saw this, wouldn't you? Oh. No. Look at this. <coughs> That's a scraper, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. You must be grateful of small mercies. Because I've missed a bone. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, I like that. I didn't see it. I wasn't looking for that. It's this tiny bit of tuscular. I don't mean to call you tiny. Nice things come in small packages. I mean, just look at me. Like a midget. Oh, thank you for my little bit of tusk. Dear bone. Where have you gone? I am in uh, I am in Tusk Alley at the moment though, so it is expected really. I say expected, absolutely not. Come on. Just a little more. Ooh, just a little bit. Here we go. Prime example of what I said about hand axe choppery looking hand axe chopper thing. Yeah, look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. That is exactly what I was talking about. I said to you, they look as nice as hand axes. Look at that. Well, you know, it depends what hand axe you're looking at, but it does. Look at it. Oh, that's made my night and that. I thought I'd already found my um, nicest thing tonight with that other, um, where are we? What's the name? But then this turned up. Right, like, fucking get ready for this. You know I like my scallopy things, don't you? Remember, I've, you know, I think I've mentioned it. I should imagine. Oh, I can't get over that, but like, right, look at this. See that pattern? Yeah, it just looks like pebbles, doesn't it? But look. That's not a pebble, I don't think. I think that is a very, 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 very old and beautiful scrape. Look, it's got the patterns where the removal was uh, made of the cortex that side, and then this side's been cleared. For me, that is a round scraper thing. A very old one as well. Oh, that's pretty. No, it ain't ugly. Easy mistake to make, especially after finding that. That's a beauty. That's exactly what I was talking about. That I've, 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 I have got one, only just slightly beautiful than that, but but it is beautiful. I have to be honest. Ooh. Oh, that's now it's turned it into a good night with that. I don't mean good night. I mean morning. I mean good morning. Oh, that's wispy. Yeah, we like that. This is one of my favourite sections, this bit. That's great. Look at that. See, what do we think of that, you see? But then you look the other side. And, and yeah, I think we do still think there's a chopper, don't we? So, that looks like the Valois to me. Look like a big Le Valois, look. Because what are the chances of that being that shape? That looks like the first strike from a Lavalois core. And uh, it does. I don't know where it is. Check it out when we get them. Nice though. Look nice to me. What are you, these thin? Ooh. Oh, I love it. Look at that, jet black perfection. Jet black perfection. Look at the shape. Beautiful. Oh. Come back now, we found you once. Oh, stunning. 
Look at that, it's jet black, got an impurity in it. Loving it. Beautiful, no bone, but that's made up for it. Hadn't made up for it at all, full of shit. Cool. Someone asked me the other day, and um, when it comes to stone, what's the difference between light and hard? So, well, I don't know about you, I said, but um, I can go to sleep with the light on. No, I don't want it. I don't want that. But I'll tell you what, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, you can't see from there, silly thing to say. Look, now that is old and beautiful. What am I? Cross a sharpie, put it in a pocket, and move on. Right. Look at that, that is absolutely, the shape of that is beautiful. Look. You see that? And then look. That is beautiful. Oh, look at that. And it looks like Chert again. That beautiful thing. Look at that. That's a stunner right, right at the last minute. Oh, amazing. I just don't know what to say. Well, of course I know what to say. Thank you very much. Can't believe it. It's like you're quite emotional about this amount of subscribers. I never thought I'd ever get to it this many subscribers and I just can't thank you all enough thank you so much you know as far as I'm concerned whatever happens now I've, I've, I've succeeded in and, you know much more than I ever thought I would so um, yeah now it's quite emotional today because of that but um, so enough about that otherwise I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get happy tears again <laughs> uh, yeah what, what I know uh, anyway um not that, uh, not that I don't know why I'm getting excited because it's Lamborghini channel anyway, apparently, from Tossa. Uh, oh, God. Right, I don't want to rush through these or anything, but um, there's a lot to get through here. Uh, I'll show you a couple of examples of what I believe this to be. And uh, it's very old. If you look at this, right, close up, you can see this is not natural. I believe that it's like a subcircular, they call it, subcircular scraper. And it must be old because you can see that there's the last little bit there of um, clear flint there. And it's then it's begun to cloud over with the cortex again. And it's like got this really, really thick cortex on. You can see it was cleared air once, but it's all grown back again. Look, I say grown, I mean formed. That's right, isn't it? But um, I love this. I absolutely love it. You can tell straight away that it's something. You know, there's no no denying it. There's no two ways about it in my eyes. And in fact, you see this pattern regularly where there's this bit missing here and this bit here. And then you can see it's had retouch in the past on the edges. Look. I really, really, really love this. It's so different. I love them. They're just textbooks. Some of the first great uh, uh, shape I ever saw, you know, in books or anything. Beautiful, that. Oh, Stormfly's so hot today. This. Look at this. I don't believe that's natural. I believe that's some kind of very, very old chopper. I talk about choppers all the time. I never was able to afford a chopper when I was a kid, but I used to love them choppers, all right, because you could give good seaters on them. Instead, uh, I always have to end up having seaters and fall off the back of bikes and, uh, you know, get your crotch stuck on the bloody wheels. Used to have to pray they had a mudguard. Anyway, enough about that. See, I'm deliriously happy about how many subscribers I've got. Don't know what you think about this, but it looks very old and it looks like something. And again, even if it's come from a course, it's got that shape there, look. 
to me, it just doesn't seem natural to me at all, that. I mean, you can see it, can't you? Obviously, it used to be a lot different when it was uh, newer, but it's very old, very old. I like that a lot. Nice Lavalois, this is another very old one. Need to shape of that, look. Just imagine what it was like in the past. I like that. It's hard to see sometimes, but you know what it was, but you can see clearly. Well, I believe it is anyway. It's just too, too correctly shaped to not be in my eyes. Interesting this, because look at it. This is no accident again, is it? You could almost say that that's a subcircular scraper again, couldn't you? Um, let me try and get a look around this way. Um, I mean, look at that, look. It's unifacial, obviously, because uh, the cortex is on there, like. It's got damage here. This is, must have had some kind of floor in there that's popped off. Interesting, because that's like got a cortexy feel in that deep bit there. Let me know what you think. I like it. Just, just seems too not too obviously shaped for me and sharp as well. Still, yeah, love that. Um, I don't think I showed this on the video or this one, but that, I believe that's just debitage really, uh, waste. I don't like calling it debitage, but look, classic platform, classic bulb scar, classic percussive ripples. So it's definitely a flake, as you can see, but then it's got a big flake scar there. So whether it's just, um, it just looks like it's had no retouch, so it looks like a bit of waste to me. But I'm um, still beautiful for a bit of waste, isn't it? I don't believe I showed this one. But um, that was found on this uh, mission. I, I, I don't believe I thought I'd put it on there, but look at this, look. Absolutely lovely. I love it with this half of the uh, Cortex missing. Flake scar down the middle, look. It's got a ledge of, like, Cortex there, look. Love the colour of the patina of the flint, look. Look at that. It's like blue, isn't it? Look at that. That's stunning. Absolutely beautiful, like my lovely subscribers. All right, Ralph, calm down, For sake. Le Valois, I believe. Ooh, look, look at that for a shaped thumb. Look, get your thumb right in there. It's like perfect thumb hold. This one I was skeptical about. It's just got that shape to me, and it's got lovely sharp edges on it. Look, look at the sharp edges there. Look. Looks like it's actually just been, uh, had a bit of retouch down that edge there to make it sharp. Very sharp, so, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Got a little, little, little this here. Hang on. Uh, this one, got a mini Lavalois, old one. It might just be waste that, but I don't know. It looks, it looks great, but you don't it like there when you look at that edge there. Looks like it's had a tiny bit of retouch down here, look. Oh, oh. look at the colour of that flint. Absolutely jet black, look. I love that. Not a lot, <laughs> but a bit. I like that even if it is waste, but to me it looks like it could be a very handy little scraper. Sharp on both sides. Uh, uh, sorry about the focus, look. Beautiful. As is this little baby. Look at this half moon. Is that, is that that bluey? Oink. That's it. It's got it. Got that bluey, bluey, t tingy to it again. Look at that, look. Point sized, isn't it? Sharp as hell though. Very sharp. Saving the best till last, I tell you. 
I really am. Christ, that looked like a hand axe, didn't it? But it's not. It's definitely not. It's just a core. It's a core. But this is, remember Randall, you were saying about, I do find a lot of these things that look like a hand axe, but they, they're blanks that look, have gone wrong by the looks of it. Like you said, a lot of people must have used to have practised and then damaged them uh, and then just thrown them away if they had a, a good amount of flint around. But I do, I do like the patina in that flint. If that was a hand axe, that'd be stunning. But it's not, it's a call. So there you go. Get over it, Ralph. Right. Wow. This is what I was saying the other week about these choppers. Look, it's hundred percent. This has been a core, and then it's been retouched into a chopper. You can see it. Look, you can see this side's been brought down steeper, and this side has been brought down steeper. Um, after it's been a core, like them other ones, look, it's got that sh shape on it there. This shape again, like like say, look, shape. You get this with these cores all the time. So, uh, like I was showing you last week, so that brings me on to this one as well. Obviously, this is that way, right? you know, the, you know what I mean, don't you? But look, this is really old. And the thing is, the thing is, I don't know about the age of, um, you know, like as far as what we know, what was it? They say that the Haysbro hand axe goes up to 700,000 years old. But they were making these choppers, you know, up to 2.5 million years ago, you know. This is when it's, you know, as far back as that, you know, when it's begun, like early simplistic stone tool use where they get a, 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 like a large pebble and just chip off the edges or the ends to make it sharper or pointier. But like, I'm not saying this is 2.5 million years old. What I'm saying is, is this is clearly old because of the damage on it. But you can clearly see that that has been a core and it's been shaped into a chopper. You can see that it's been brought, the edge has been brought down again to meet here. That would have been lovely again. In fact, where you feel it there is still sharp. That, so, you see what I'm saying? Nice chopper, that lovely size, look. Beautiful thing. I'm not sure, David, if that's chert or flint again. You have to tell me, mate, on that one. <laughs> I get the feeling it may be chert, but this is flint, definitely. And I love this colour flint. Look at it. Such beautiful material. It's got a lovely smooth feel to it. Beautiful, eh? I'm loving it. No bone this week, but um, here's the thing, right? These two are, are absolutely textbook. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the markings on it. Incredible look. See that? This is an old one again. Look at the markings on it. Look. Look how sharp it is still. Shape around that corner. Look. Look at that. I love it. It's absolutely stunning. Really is stunning. For not being black flint, that is absolutely beautiful in my book. And old, very old. Side scraper. Clearly sort of worked down that side to make it sharper. And that is sharp, I tell you, that is sharp still. That really is sharp. What a beautiful colour and markings look. Stunning. And the creme de la creme, here it comes. Are you ready for this? Du, 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 du. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Look, you can almost see through that flint. That's so thin, look. You see that? Oh. What a stunner! Well, Lamborghini Giza may not think so, but I believe we are all interested in stones and old dead animals very much so. How can you not be?
that is just a perfect saw there you could cut through little bits of wood with that and any, anything that'd be you could probably still do it now even when it was sharp it must have been even better thank you so much for watching and looking at these finds with me obviously this is an interesting one i'm gonna leave you with this and i'll see what you think about this because um you can see what it looks like can't you but look i mean look at that shape interesting and you could say yeah well that's a one-off that's just luck that that's turned out like that is it okay well how come that one turned out like it as well then hey look answer me that what are they are they unifacial large hand axes or are they just natural stones look at them very similar <laughs> I can't I can't thanks I can't thank I can't say thanks enough to you so much um like if I talk about it much more I'll get upset again so I'm gonna now leave you and love you and say over and out and thank you for watching <laughs>